Hello, and welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast. I am your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern Blog. I'm currently in the Poconos, sitting on the back porch at my parents' place in Holy Pennsylvania. It's currently raining. I think you can hear a little thunder in the background, at least on occasions. And... It's, listen, this was going to be an episode talking about Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. Because I was reading the character generation rules, and I gotta say, I like them. It encourages you to take what is rolled, but it isn't a requirement. You just lose out in free XP as you start your character, and XP is used for advancement, so it's important. And free stuff is always cool. But if you don't want to take a randomly chosen profession... If you don't want to take the randomly rolled uh, skills, attributes, you don't have to. Interesting take on it. But because of the weather, which really was rumbling and coming down about 10 minutes ago, I thought I'd talk about weather and travel in our fantasy campaigns. I mean, we take a lot of things for granted in our modern-day society, and one thing we take for granted is, what, roads, cars, trucks, buses, things of that nature. When your rule set says, oh, well, well, traveling across a well-maintained road, a party can travel, I don't know, three miles in an hour, uh, 25, 30 miles in a day, maybe a forced march, they do 40. That's assuming it's not raining. It's not the wet season that these roads that are, are almost invariably made of packed dirt. You're lucky if they're made out of packed clay. Um, when it gets wet, they get horrible to pass. You'll, you'll see some of that up here on some of these more back roads where uh, you get areas that have potholes because they aren't paved. They are, at best, gravel. At worst, literally clay-like dirt. And then in the rain, you don't necessarily see your potholes as it all fills up with a little bit of water. And what could be an inch deep could be four inches deep. Same thing goes with your characters, your horses. When you're traveling on these, quote, roads. So, I I think that you got to take those, I don't know, estimated numbers for travel with a grain of salt. And assume that the the roads are not going to be in perfect condition. I mean, they might be. They might be like Roman roads. That's how an army moves, right? So you need roads to move your army quickly. But your average, I don't know, well-maintained road is not well-maintained, even the standards of a poorly-maintained road in some of these more rural areas of our modern day society. In addition to that, we've got thunder and lightning. (coughs) Excuse me. And allergies. Now, the worst thing to do, I I think, besides being under a tree, is to be the only thing out and open on a plane. Thunder and lightning comes down your characters have what choices? Continue walking through the rain and be targets for lightning. <laughs> Lay down? I mean, how many of you in modern day own a raincoat? If you're walking and you're traveling, maybe your character has uh, an oiled leather cloak. It'll help keep some parts dry. It's not going to keep characters dry. It's not going to keep your your PC dry. Like, I'm dry underneath this back porch. 
So weather is an aspect that we often overlook. And that's because in modern day society, weather is easily overlooked. It's generally non-stress. You know, maybe your flight gets canceled at the airport. Maybe your commute coming home is, is longer. You know, your 40 minute drive is now 25. But this is just day to day weather. I'm not talking hurricanes. I'm not talking blizzards. Uh, I'm not talking nor'easters or whatever they call them on the Pacific coast or tornadoes. I'm talking everyday weather with a little lightning and thunder thrown into it. The danger level suddenly shoots up because of the lack of modern day conveniences. Just something I thought about sitting back here on the porch with the rain coming down, the thunder rumbling, and some of that thunder was damn close. You could hear popping. So when your thunder pops, you know you're getting some really close lightning strikes. And on top of that, we are, I guess, I don't want to call it a mountainside. The Pocono Mountains aren't these huge mountains like some out in the west think of mountains. But uh, we're a couple hundred feet above town. And it certainly puts you closer to any uh, disruptive weather, I guess. There's things to keep thinking about as a GM, as a player. When your characters are involved in this, how do you react to it? I mean, I know I use the weather charts from, and I might be off by initial, I'm going to say issue 68 of Dragon Magazine. They had a whole insert with like a DM screen you could take out with the weather charts. I think it was repeated in the uh, Greyhawk box set. But uh, I remember them. I remember my party was traversing on foot to a Hamlet. They were going to do T1 through T4. And I used those, it was winter time, and I used those charts, and my party actually wound up getting killed by a blizzard. When I say killed, they got snowed in and basically had no way to get anywhere. The weather, the weather stayed below freezing for like the next two weeks. They didn't have enough food. Uh, they thought they could live off the land. So then they brought like a week of regular rations. Couldn't even get a proper fire started. It, they can't, I, don't, I shouldn't say the, the party died. The campaign died a horrible death. Before it properly started because of the weather. So yes, you can abuse... The weather, or you can let it abuse you. I'm not saying do that, but I'm just saying keep the weather in mind. You, it'll help flavor your world. It'll help make it more realistic. And just like that thunder in the background that you're hearing rumbling through here, um, it makes your world a living place. So just give it a give it a thought. Give it a twirl. All right, folks, on that note, on that little bit of rolling thunder, um, I'm going to bid you all adieu, as always. Be safe. Be healthy. God bless. Roll those dice well. And I will talk with you all tomorrow. Later, folks.